So a few days ago I tried to record this and I did. Then I went to upload on the SD card and the file got corrupted. We can hope that this doesn't happen with this one so I have to refilm it and in those few days I accidentally broke one of the things I was reviewing. So that's fun. We will do the, like, I don't know, the August VHS review or something like that. I forgot. So in November to review, I forgot to show this. Um, I got it at a Goodwill with the um, World of Rhythm 2012 DVD. It has the key, so it does work. But the problem is it doesn't have these back skis that actually help it go forward. So it doesn't really work, but... As you can see, I didn't waste much money on it. Still cool to have, I guess. Most of the stuff I got for Christmas was boring and not worth reviewing, but we do have this glitter lamp that's nothing special. Just, really just a glitter lamp. Oops, cap fell off. Um, it's USB operated for some reason, which is inconvenient, I guess. So I can't actually show it running, but I'm sure you've seen a glitter lamp before. So, yeah. Next we have, let's, um, let's just, no, 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 okay. We've got this little, oh, shit. This little Newton's Cradle thing. It, you can, it lights up and it, Moves, I guess. Yes, I know I'm not very thrilled, but that's because I recorded a way better version of this and it died, like I said. Oh, come on, stabilize correctly, thank you. It moves. It does that. Alright, next we've got... What do we got next? Okay, we've got a blank DVD case. Even though in all reality... Why does this have tabs? That's really annoying. It's Baby Chatterbox, and... It's Baby Chatterbox. This, I was gonna rip this, but it's not that interesting, so I got lazy and didn't, but I should soon. Um... Yay. Oh, shit. Okay. Then we've got this, um, gyro wheel thing, which I accidentally sat on yesterday and it broke. Obviously, this thing is supposed to actually go on there, but it fell off, and I don't think my dad can glue it. It was supposed to, like, you know, like... This thing, this thing was supposed to, you know, like, spin around, and if you spun it around, it would light up, and it'd probably take someone out across the room if you spun it too fast. I learned from experience. Um, this thing died, basically. It probably didn't cost too much, I hope, at least. Um... I wonder. Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try something that almost definitely won't work. Wow! Look, it's connected. Yeah. Oh. Okay. No, we're done with that and. In September, I found this cool VHS, and I decided to buy it. And four months later, it decided to come to the mailbox. The box with mail. Um, this was $10. Wasn't expecting it at all. I didn't see their... They did message me saying they had mailed it out, but I never saw it. It just came. I need to list this on eBay because it's worth a shit ton of money for whatever reason. It, it's a VHS, I have nothing to say. <sighs> okay.
Okay, so I showed the Hydro Gyro in November to review, but we're going to show it again now that it actually spins, thanks to the very good Johnny Test Hydro Gyro from Latvia. Um, last time I had boxes of the toys and I filmed them, like boxes of the Gemini and all the kinetics, but I threw them away after that because I didn't need them, and now I obviously can't show them. Um, so we're just going to use the greatest thing to film it on, a minion puzzle. Why do I have this? Well, I know, but it was a dark question or whatever the fuck. Okay, let's spin it. It probably won't stay on, if we're perfectly honest. Yeah, that, that was a horrible spin. Try this again. Okay, that's slightly better. So that spins, it doesn't spin for long. It would have been spun for longer if I did. tried. This, however, spins for a while. You gotta turn it over and spin it like that. Oh, shit. Come on, do it. Okay, that's the best we're getting and it might fall off. Please fall over already. Thank you. Come on, fall over. Right now. Or in a second. Alright, it's 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 trying. It's really trying. Oh my god, it's gonna do it. Please don't knock the connects over. It almost did. Alright, that's that and uh bye. Now we've got Jazz, jazz, jumpy, or something like that. Obviously, if you saw the stream, you'd know more about this. Um, it's a VHS that I'd probably pay too much for. It has a booklet. It's kind of weird. I like these horrible black instruments. And this drum with no support at all. We'll put the VHS away, because I already showed it better in the stream. <laughs> Anyways, we've got something important. Now this, this little guy, he ain't working too well. While I was putting the balls on, um, a piece fell off and it's like now really unstable. But, and my dad tried to glue it, and it failed. It spun for like a day, and then it, the piece fell off again. And I lost the piece because he accidentally threw it away. So now we can't glue it again. And it's stuck working like this. It'd probably work better on a more stable surface than a big Mozart VHS. So just keep in mind. Also, I know it's supposed to go in the opposite direction. Uh, it don't want to do that. There might be some way to get it working, although I'm kind of doubting that. But for now, it's stuck like this. It still looks cool, but not as cool. I It spun better in the stream at, towards the end, if you want to look there. I showed it actually working. There might, yeah, there might be some way to glue it back together to get it to work a little better. I don't know. Kind of doubt that. Um, if anyone's wondering though, what the piece that's broken is, I'll show. Hold on. Let's take this out. Right here, if you can see that, just came off. Most of it's actual metal. But this part at the bottom is very cheap plastic, so it fell off really easily. 
As you can see, it spins way faster and better um, without that piece in the middle. I have to stop the camera again. And but when you put the piece in the middle, which yeah, attempt to do, it completely slows down. And oh, it's finally attempting to spin in the right direction. Okay, no, no, no. It's just a nightmare. I'm gonna turn it off to save. All of us. Oh, oh god. Uh, oh shit. Okay. This is very unstable. Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna put it behind me and... Honestly, I'll just lay it down. Because if I didn't, it would fall over. Here's the thing it was laying on top of. The Baby Mozart Hebrew VHS. So one night, I think December 9th or 10th, um... I got two hours of sleep, so I woke up at about 6 a.m. I looked on eBay, and this was there for 10 bucks. It came from New York. It definitely belongs there. Um, this obviously isn't a rare Hebrew VHS. I mean, Sam has it. But it's still really fucking cool to have. Obviously, it has no print date, and I can't really play it. I haven't even tested it yet, but there's not much of a point. If you, if you wanted a PAL VHS, it'd be a lovely $100. And I only have two PAL VHSs, so I just don't think it's worth it. Um, I'll show the back. If it closes. Close! What the fuck? Oh, okay. Alright, there we go. It was, like, stuck. Shockingly, it's Hebrew. I know, I was actually expecting it to be, um, Uzbek. Instead of Hebrew, because that would make a lot of sense. Anyways, that's that. On to the more interesting things. The kinetics. I'm going to take the camera off its tripod for this part. Oh, not like that. Or whatever. It gets the point across of getting it off the tripod. <sighs> Alright, so I ordered a lot of kinetics. George found it. Um, everybody was asking him for the link, and, uh, we gave him the link after I had bought, like, five of them. I had tried to buy a different one, but they sent me this one, which is fine since I don't have it. And, uh, they sent me the Mini Jupiter for no reason whatsoever. I didn't have to pay for it. In total, these were $60, although this one wasn't in, and obviously this one wasn't either. So, we'll go through them. This one is just the free balls. I don't think it's supposed to be on these stands. Whatever. It's mildly... What the? Why is this magnet so big? It should not be that big. <laughs> and then we got the glow-in-the-dark dolphins, which I have not actually tested in the dark. Although, considering I stupidly gave away my other dolphins that weren't glow-in-the-dark, this is cool to have. Alright, let's move these out of the way, and we've got this, like, rocking bass kinetic. I had the box for it, and of course threw it away. After, before I, this was before I knew that I had to refilm, or else I would have kept them for the short term. It's like the rocking dolphins, but weird. I don't know why their like tails are curved. You could have just made them straight. Would have been would have been better. Also, they're not very good at this whole hitting of the fish. Although I don't think there's a battery in it, so that's probably why. Also, you can't take these stands out, and they're starting to come loose, which. Seems mildly contradictory. So they have to be left like that. Um, next we have this glow-in-the-dark Mars, I guess that's what you call it. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen this before. 
I've seen similar things. It's just weird. Kind of cool. Also, it spins like really slowly compared to most of them. Like if you look at this one, or this one, compared to this one, you can tell the difference. I guess there's just not much of a magnet in there, even though you can see, you can see the gray part right there, which is obviously the magnet. Next we have the Mini Jupiter. I don't want this. Who, If anyone does, uh, you can buy it. I really don't care. I'll keep this one because it's in better condition than my other one, but again, I just don't need it. Didn't want it either, but of course they threw it in. Alright, next we've got this little, like, oil drop thing, except it's missing a bunch of water, so it ends up looking like this. What? Well, no, it ends up looking like this. Yeah, it doesn't work so well, but getting this in this particular color variant is really hard, so... Yay. Again, this had the box, but I threw it away. Long, long story. This doesn't have the battery in it, but you can see how it works. If you go into a May Toy Review or the Kinetic Collection, there's one that works like this with a battery in it. So... Also, I've like never seen a Gold Kinetic. I think this is one of the only ones in existence. It is pretty cool. I suppose. Alright, so that was that and I have to clean up again. Even though I've already done that before. Um, I don't have anything special planned. At all. Probably some random video will come in between this and, um, January Tour Review. Which, I keep calling this January Tour Review, even though it's not. I do that a lot. Like, when it's, I don't know, like, the first of a month, say November, I'll probably end up calling it November Tour Review, even though, again, it's not. Anyways, goodbye, I'm really fucking tired. <sighs>